Okay. So DI server, server application. It's DI server is data integration server, core component. It executes jobs in transformation using PDI engine. So as I said, you, you develop your jobs in transformations using using Spoon and the Pentaho data integration engine basically uh, which runs or executes these uh, you know uh, components. How uh, has, has default user and role based security can also be integrated with existing LDAP Active Directory security provider. So yes this is for the uh, repository which they are talking about which is not available feature with the community edition which is available with the enterprise edition you can actually uh, you know uh, connect to LDAP or Active Directory uh, for the for the different users, and you can actually store your transformations and uh, jobs stored at one common place, so that it can be accessible to all the users in real time scenarios. Okay, these are the design tools standalone. I would say design tool is one of them that is Spoon only. That is the GUI tool which we have just seen. So uh, it is for designing your jobs and transformation. So it's the uh, client tool. So the end user can use it for designing their jobs and transformations. Okay, kitchen and spam. Uh, kitchen and spam is your command prompt. Uh, you know, uh, tool to execute your jobs and transformations. Kitchen is used to uh, run your any of your job and transformation and pan is to just run your transformation if I'm not wrong so uh, like I said in the real-time scenarios what how uh, why uh, what happened is uh, okay I'll, I'll just explain with, with an example uh, what we have done for the I was talking about the retail domain project so as I explained to you, uh, we had this, uh, you know, uh, two, three different data sources to extract data from and load into data warehouse. And uh, so for that matter, we developed all the jobs and transformations using Spoon. Now, uh, and you can actually run it. So uh, uh, in the real time scenarios, how you do it, you basically, uh, in the data warehouse, you uh, load the historical data once in one go so once you have your historical data historical data as in uh, of the date of data available with the organizations for for let's say for last five ten years things like that so you you have your data this data available so you you uh, you load that data once in your data warehouse now going forward on the daily basis you will not be able to run entire data again and again into your data warehouse so you always do the incremental load so incremental load is like you are just uh, loading what is there any database changes happened in the data on the source side let's say for the previous day so you did take just that incremental data and you load it in the data warehouse now now the point is uh, you will not sit and run this uh, job or transformation manually every day or uh, some specific time. So you need to schedule these jobs. So uh, like for our uh, project, what we have done, their require and uh, their requirement was to run this jobs and transformation once in a week. So it's like uh, one week data you need to load every time. So we we loaded their uh, you know historical data to some cutoff date and we actually did the incremental loading of data weekly that was their requirement so uh, so we schedule that job on the weekly basis using windows scheduler you can use it uh, for the community edition and it runs that particular job on some specific date and time to run that incremental data into your data warehouse so this is the you can say the command prompt uh, uh, facility or the feature of the pdi Carte is nothing but your uh, uh, remote ETL server for your scheduling and And data connections, as I've already explained, this is for uh, you know uh, making connections to your source and the target database. Transformation is nothing. It's a term for uh, you know extracting and loading your uh, data into the data warehouse after doing some uh, cleansing and you know 
aggregation and all around the data. Itself, this is, uh, you can see again one transformation is uh, uh, built here using some text file inputs and the uh, table output is there and this is how it works. We'll see all this in practical, with practical example. So data integration tool called as Spoon. Okay, what is Spoon? Spoon is basically your uh, GUI tool uh, for designing your, for developing your, uh, you know, uh, you know, jobs and transformations. So this is very, this is very easy to learn and it is very user friendly. Well, uh, you will not find any difficulty. It's so easy and anybody can use it very, very quickly on that. I'll, I'll just explain in brief here. I'll not go much in detail because we have separate session for that. So as you could see, there is one transformation already opened with the name of dim underscore product, which is uh, here if you can see on the top. So this is about the transformation I have uh, developed for loading the dimension table in my data warehouse. We will we'll see all that in detail. So on the left side, if you could see there is two tab view and design. A view you can you can see there is database connection so of course to to get data from data warehouse or to load data into data warehouse you need to first build a database connection so this is there how we uh, you actually do the database connection we'll see in that detail later and in the design tab you you can see different nodes are there input output transform utility things like that are there so it's very easy input is from where you need to extract that data. So you could see there is n number of, I would say, uh, you know, data sources available. As we, we talked about in our previous slides, it can virtually integrate or connect with uh, any data source. So CVS, uh, fixed file input, Excel or LDAP input, OLAP input, SAP input, table input, so things like that. So uh, this is about the input and similarly now you want to load this data. We'll talk about transformation later. Load this data. So the table output where you want to uh, output this. So there are different outputs which are available which you can actually load data to. And transformation. Transform is nothing but it's you can say in between your input and output. So you you need to have your different you know connectors here logics here which you can actually build we'll see all that in detail 